Hello everybody and welcome again to the Ryan Machad Classic Firearms Channel and the Handgun Radio Channel. Uh, I am Ryan Machad and today we're out here with the Rossi Princess. Now we've had a, a quick look video on this gun. It is a very uh, odd little small frame 22 caliber revolver made by Rossi. I believe they term it the Model 13. It's a small double action revolver. It uh, sort of resembles a shrunk down Smith & Wesson. It's got seven shots as opposed to six. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a little comparison here. I have my, uh, my Model 60 Smith & Wesson. So there's quite a big size difference between the J-frame and this gun. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put some rounds down range with the Rossi Princess. And uh, we're also going to be using today, just to, to keep it easy on the gun, we're going to be using some 22 shorts. So they're a little bit, uh, obviously, little baby 22 uh, long rifle rounds. A little bit shorter. There you go. So uh, we'll get the gun loaded up and we'll get going. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and load up the uh, Rossi Princess with the 22 shorts and see how it does. I've never fired this gun before, so it should be pretty interesting. Uh, the double action trigger pull on it is not the greatest in the world. So uh, we'll see how that affects accuracy. The owner of this gun has shot it and he said it very it shoots very well. It's very uh, very good gun for, for what it is. So uh, let's see if that is the case. Um, I believe the frame and everything is made out of some sort of Zamac alloy, not a, uh, a standard like steel. So that should be pretty interesting. So. Let's see how it does. She's all loaded up. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm going to come back probably about seven yards away and do a little test here, single action only. And I'm going to go for the middle square. All right, just for fun, before it gets too rainy out, we're gonna try these uh, Agula, they're like CB caps. There's no powder, just the primer. I've only got two in here because I wanna make sure I listen to see um, if it actually goes out of the barrel because I know with rifles, a lot of the times these won't go out of the barrel, so I don't want to uh, cause a problem here. So we shall see. Seemed to work pretty good. Shh. 
shooting the Rossi Princess was a really cool experience. I recommend sticking with the 22 shorts because it is a uh, somewhat fragile gun, I would I would say. It's made out of some weird Zamac alloy. It's kind of unfortunate the gun wasn't made out of better materials because it's a really interesting size. It's like nothing I've ever seen before, and it is fairly accurate um, for what it is, even though the, the double-action trigger pull is pretty horrendous. But all in all, it's a really interesting little pistol, and I was glad I got a chance to shoot it.